guys, it's NCS, man, welcoming you back to my freaking Spongebob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman walkthrough. I just saved during the break, but I didn't. Last time we finished Jellyfish Fields, we did all the stupid Jellyfish Fields crap, now we gotta go all the way back to Bikini Bottom, start doing the next mission, now I got freaking Red Lobster Hi, over here. Where does this Shouldn't go? you be in a Everyone pot of oil or something yeah, right now? Sorry, little dude. And I he says he has a ticket, but he won't give it nope. to us. Listen, the only way we can get well, it is to give him 50 jellyfish, so we have to bring him 50 game total jellyfish, and we only have 24. So anyway, go on and get in the changing tent, and this is only for 100% completionists. You don't need to do this, obviously. I just wanted to show, because I have promised 100% of Bikini Bottom. Go over here, spin a freaking pinwheel. Collect the last well-hidden doubloons, or not really, but collect those. So yay, we have 100% in Bikini Bottom. We don't have nearly 100% in Downtown. 100% in the Tree Dome, almost 100% in Jellyfish Fields, whatever. Alright, whatever. Let's keep on going. Go on and roll through the gate here. Drop tap dances as we jump the wall. Now I gotta go all the way to downtown just to collect one freaking letter tile. Just because the game's a jerk and can't give us the letter tile earlier. Because we have to have the reef blower. <sighs> Enough of that voice. Hey guys, it's CS Fan here. So, anyway, back to the jokingness of this joke walkthrough. <coughs> So, we're now in downtown. Uh, as you saw there, Larry back there. I know that that was during the joke part, but once you complete Jellyfish Fields, he will be there and be offering to give you his ticket for 50 Jellyfish. So, we're going to have to do that eventually. Well, as you saw, we don't have enough Jellyfish, and I actually do not think there are enough Jellyfish in the other areas of the game, so to where you have to go to Chum World. I'm pretty sure you have to go to Chum World no matter what to get it. So make sure you get the reef blower costume, and you're going to want to head around here. Remember, you cannot attack these guys unless you're belly slamming. So now we're going to have to head back to downtown and talk to Sandy. Hey there, SpongeBob. Want to lend a hand? Oh, no, sure I don't, Daddy. squirrel do? whore. I joined up with Operation Clean Sweep. We're clearing up all the trash that floats down to Bikini Bottom. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Economists. Uh, I mean, not economists. Green people. Yeah. I hate, I hate green enthusiasts stuff. I agree that, it would, that sometimes it would be nice, but really, I don't. I think everyone over-exaggerates on everything needing to go green. I think I'm 99% sure, I'm 100% sure that everyone exaggerates. So, we have to clean trash by rolling it into bins. Yeah, that are actually not to bins, but into the sewers. So, technically, we aren't cleaning up the trash, we're just pushing it to somewhere else. Yeah, great job, Sandy. Your corporation is polluting the city's water supply. Now each trash can, or I mean each uh, sewer can fit two balls of trash, I believe. So I love how she says she thinks she's cleaning everything up, but technically they're just making everything worse by polluting their water supply by putting everything in the sewers. Technically the water would go out into a lake or something, an underwater lake, since apparently there's stuff like this in the water. But I guess the water would technically go into an underwater lake some kind of an underwater reservoir, probably, and that's where they keep some of their water, so technically the trash is disrupting that. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too much, but maybe I'm also thinking the game is contradicting itself by, in effect, making everything worse. I mean, yeah, it looks better on the surface, but then watch when everyone starts getting sick and dying, and again, the word death in Nickelodeon doesn't match. Or it didn't really match until... It matches at Nick at night, but not at all. Uh, not any other stuff. Speaking of which, I don't know if I've ever said this in any of my other shows, but do you guys ever see that Nick at Night show, uh, House of Anubis, at least the first season of it? I actually thought that, that actually did not suck. I mean, I thought it was gonna suck, but it actually, it did not suck. It was actually pretty good. I mean, it was, I think it was just, it was different, which is what made it good, is they finally had something different. And besides, Thalia Ramos, Nah, if I could whistle, I would, I would do something about that, but she was the guy, she was the one who played the main girl. Yeah, she was hot, but... Okay, let's stop talking about that. Let's get off track, because I know that probably the majority of my viewers that are watching this are probably like seven and really don't care. Either way, that was a great random discussion hey, for this. Now I can 
<laughs> I'm amazed that I managed to pull ourselves that far off track. So, collect the last letter tile from Sammy. I'm impressed with the fact that I pulled us that far off track with that conversation, but either way, let's get back on track here. Get back to this game and back to the fact that this was a Nickelodeon cartoon, not a Nick and Knight or teammates show, but anyway. Letter tile puzzle. How many of these have we seen? Well, you're gonna see them three more times, so get used to it. I love how they really think you need 90 seconds to solve this. I mean, yes, I suck at slide puzzles in real life, but come on. This is designed for five-year-olds, and you give them that much extra time. It takes 12, it takes 11 to 13 or 14 seconds. I mean, seriously, it's not that hard. Yay, do the freaking bringing around town dance, because I'm a gay spun. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, so it puts us in the construction site where I really did not collect any of the balloons. I mean, downtown you can collect 200% without too much difficulty. Even Chumroll in the final area you can collect 200% without any difficulty. It's only Goo Lagoon that's really hard to collect in. Okay, so just walk over there to find the treasure. It's not exactly that hard. A wig! So the Dutchman used to wear a wig with uh, ribbons in it. Yeah, that, that's really manly. Okay! Once again, try to stay on track. And he'll hypnotize a fit member to his crew. There we go. Everything's spick and span the way it should be. It's cleaning you enjoy, and I have I got the ship for you. So Sandy actually threatens him. Look at her eyes, it's like it's like she had too much coffee this morning. I, I don't know why, it just looks like she's had too much coffee this morning. And uses a golden acorn. It looks like she just had way too much coffee. Now she looks like half zombie, half drunk, hungover coffee drinker. Okay, that was a really bad joke. Anyway, we return to Bikini Bottom, and we still don't have 50 jellyfish. So, I mean, as I said before, I don't think you could have enough just by collecting from uh, downtown. But we do have the Chum World Pass, so... Uh, let's head off to Chum World as soon as I save my game. You know, you know that you can find a lot of suggestive stuff in E-rated games. I'm sure you guys know that as well as I do, but... This game doesn't have too much of it until you get to the last area. Because the last area, I don't know what some of the developers were thinking considering how young the, the uh, gamers of this game are supposed to be. I don't know what they were thinking when they programmed some of the last area of the game. I'm sure you guys know what I'm thinking of. The main theme of that area. You can actually look at it from the letter tiles and you can probably already tell how many jokes I'm going to make of it. Especially with some of their comments they make about it. So roll to the Chum World bus stop. Rolling is optional, but I choose to roll, so shut up. Chum World! Chum World is by far my favorite area of the game. It's so cool. It's basically Look an amusement park. Chum it's World, fun. Here I come. Okay, you jump back on the ferry if you want to go back to the main area. I believe it's one of maybe only two areas in the game where the music doesn't change when you change costumes. The music does get really boring by the time you leave. Okay, right like that. So there's actually quite a bit of stuff we have to do in this area. I'm going to collect those. Uh, first things first, you can find the balloons in pretty much all of these balloons all over the fair. Uh, before we start collecting jellyfish, though, we're going to need the Mermaid Man costume. Yeah, this is the whopping second letter tile in the entire game that uses it. The only other letter tile that actually needs it. And it's technically, it's an indirect opening of a letter tile. You, you are one tough cut. So pretty much you have to uh, get into the big top. You have to you shoot five fly. targets with uh, water balls to get into the big top, which can be used both as a shortcut around the area, but the big top does contain one uh, letter tile. always give me the most trouble. Just 
Shum World is, I think, typically considered to be one of the slightly harder areas of the game, and I could agree with that. Shum World is a little bit more difficult. So go on, we talk to him, and the big top's open. Yeah, Shum World is a slightly more difficult area. It's really not that big a deal. I mean, there's... As soon as I say it's not that big a deal, I fall in the water. That's only like my second death of this project, though, and once again, I only die from touching water, not from actually getting hit by enemies. Whoa, yeah, don't die again, please, not in the same exact spot. That would just be really embarrassing. I can't remember, I believe the doubloon requirement is 250. Oh no, it's still 225 plus uh, 25 jellyfish, okay? Sounds good. other way. That'll be a little more efficient. I want to collect all the collectibles in this, uh, first area. Watch out there. You, if you get hit head on by the roller coaster, it'll cost some damage. You can lay out on top of it, though, and it won't really cause any damage. That's kind of cool. Jump down to here. Collect that jellyfish. Uh, those barrels will sink if you land on them, like you probably just saw if you don't have eyes. I guess you might not see that, but technically why would you be watching a walkthrough if you can't see? Okay, I guess I'm overthinking random crap, actually. I call that random crap in my opinion. Ow! Not funny. I really should probably learn to watch my mouth a little bit more in this walkthrough. <laughs> Uh, there's some relatively difficult to reach doubloons up here. You'll have to power jump off that. Once, the doubloons and stuff aren't too bad here. I mean, even the ones in the big top really aren't that difficult. So I would not consider Chum World nearly the hardest area for collecting. I mean, it can be annoying that you can glitch through the light there. And we've collected the majority of the stuff on this first area. I don't plan on collecting everything here because it's, there's a lot to collect. I collected about 90% of everything on my last playthrough, though. I might have even gotten 100% of the jellyfish. Oh my god, stop getting stung by enemies, okay? Like that one. And talk to this clown. All you need, you can just Okay, we have to plug holes with balls. Yeah, that, that didn't sound suggestive at all, so I was just commenting about the suggestive nature of this game not being into the last area in there, I say. Plugging holes with balls. Okay, maybe my mind's just messed up today. I don't know. Technically, I shouldn't be thinking. I should not be thinking like that, okay? That would have made a good that's what she said joke, though. So then he just runs into the water and drowns himself in this murky, sewery water that was probably caused by us dumping our garbage in the sewers, but anyway. Ah, not cool jellyfish, okay? Ah, uh, in there, that's the entrance to Chum Putt, which is one of the uh, letter tiles. How did I get stung by that? I believe to catch this guy, you have to get on top of the giant rotating plankton head. Yeah, that's, that's a really good notion for all your viewers here. Okay, that, we've used the Murray Man costume for all we need it for, but we will need the, uh... Hey, get hit by the coaster. Yep, see, actually it goes down to his underpants. I'm not sure if I ever showed that. We can grab those pants there. That's the only reason I did that. Just so I can show that. A little bit of lag there. So now, one thing I have not, I have been failing to mention about Shum World is that it is incompletable until you beat Goo Lagoon. You have to beat all the other areas of the game, obviously, except for the final battle before you can actually complete Shum World. The reason being, as you can see here, you got a close plankton head, and it says, I'll be back later, plankton. Well, that is actually how you get the last other tile. Ah, uh, new enemy here. Clowns. Take two hits to kill. I guess technically they aren't new. We've already fought one in on jellyfish fields. These are like real clowns that can actually, uh, that actually take a couple hits to kill. Ching, cha ching, cha ching, at least he doesn't say something stupid every time he collects a piece of money because that would get really repetitive with how much collecting there is in this game in terms of collecting stuff like that. But really, this game is not big on like collective balls and stuff, which is actually really nice. Third tile there. Oh wow, I forgot to win the Inflato game in the other area. Great 
freaking five stars there. Uh, you go over here, the sledge is a little hard to get to, but if you can make it, you got a few doubloons along there, as well as a green jellyfish. I can't believe I forgot to win the Inflato game. You I missed something. Yeah, if you're collecting all the balloons, just make sure you look at all of the uh, balloons along the way because there's a lot of them hidden in there, and as well as well as those uh, couple of out to sea platforms, I guess you could call them. Okay, let's talk to this guy. It's pretty simple. You have to stomp one thing and then stomp all. You have to stomp all four without any of them losing their light. Start to go out as time runs out, but it shouldn't be too difficult. And a really annoying camera angle, which is kind of a problem at times, but whatever. Alright, so I think that's a good place to stop. So, next time, we will continue our way through Chum World and hope, and then we'll finish everything in Chum World and head off to Goo Lagoon. See you guys then.